Body Louise here. I'm in Wellington and I'm in the Old Bank Arcade. We're just waiting for 4 p.m. when our beautiful clock is going to open. The French horn will play and we'll get the story of Wellington. So these tulips are going to open and reveal figures and scenes of early days of Wellington. So we're just waiting now for the clock. <laughs> and see the gorgeous tiled floor. I think we're away. Hey, Jake, awesome. David, fantastic. Is it four o'clock? It's almost. Pete, awesome. Thanks for joining. I'm really, really good. I'm in Wellington, the capital city. 4 p.m. in Wellington. Yes, absolutely. Almost 4 p.m., let's say. <laughs> we're ready, we're waiting. Strike. Strike now. <laughs> oh, there we go, 4 p.m. Oops. Midnight in Florida. Good night, Pete. <laughs> the old periscope is fantastic, isn't it? It's awesome, isn't it? the boat there so he converted it was shipwrecked and he converted it into a warehouse then there was a big earthquake and the ship after the earthquake of 1855 the ark was left high and dry today its remains lie beneath the old bank and the bow can be seen in the bank so the ship is still beneath the building, they just built the building on top of it. Okay, I'll catch you Monday. In 1901, the Bank of New Zealand opened their head office in this magnificent building, which was built over the remains of Plymouth Park, on reclaimed land. Harold Beecham, who was later to become Sir Harold, was a well-known Wellington identity, who served as both a director and a chairman during its long association with the bank. Equally, if not more well-known, was his daughter, Catherine Mansfield, seen here visiting with her father. Catherine was to become one of New Zealand's greatest writers. Once the building was no longer used as the headquarters of the Bank of New Zealand, much of its grandeur was stripped away, and it lay empty for many years before Wellington City Council decided on a plan to encourage its redevelopment. IPO Limited, the renowned for restoration of the Queen Victoria yeah. building in Sydney, were awarded the tender and work began. With the old bank arcade opening in 1999, we're able once again to appreciate the fine craftsmanship and splendid architecture of the past. And that's it. So on the hour, every hour, we get a little history lesson here in the Old Bank Arcade. 
And of course you can explore a little bit further and you can actually go down the stairs over there and have a look at the Ark. So let's do that as another walk, another day. Yeah, it's neat, Pete, yeah. So thanks for joining everybody. It's now about five past four. I might need a coffee. Lots of nice coffee shops, as you can see in here, cafe. Might just need another coffee. Thanks for joining me. It's Thursday and it is five past four. Take care, everybody. We'll see. Yeah, it's fun, it's fun. I'll see you all. Um, let me just turn and say Thanks, I'll see you all tomorrow. How's that? I promise I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Lovely details here. Take care, everybody. Take care. Yeah, have an awesome day. Yeah, thanks, everybody, for joining. Really, really fabulous to see you. And I'm happy to be in Wellington. Take care. Kia ora and kaketi anō.